Hello and welcome once again to The Bike Show and an episode that is absolutely crammed with heroes. And we have plenty of other international news to get through as well. Let us begin, however, with a, a local lad who is one of the very best in the world. A competitor who battles it out over huge distances in quite probably the toughest championship on two wheels. A rider who has one of the very coolest nicknames on the planet. Forget the Doctor and El Diablo, nobody has a cooler tag than the Kalahari Ferrari. Whoever came up with that needs a pay rise, by the way. Ross Branch is one of the fastest men ever to tackle the desert races. He's probably Southern Africa's greatest hope of securing its first ever Dakar motorcycling victory, and he hails from Botswana. Our very own Joburg Jalopy caught up with the Kalahari Ferrari and tried to act like a journalist instead of a fan, which I know from personal experience is actually easier said than done. We've got two heroes for you today. We have this one over here, which is quite a hero with a capital H, and this one, <laughs> which is called Ross Branch. Now, okay, Ross, for people who don't know in the off-road scene, I remember you as a motocross rider, okay? <laughs> You were uh, one of the top names. Then suddenly you were an off-road rider, and then suddenly you're racing Dakar <laughs> Rally, and you're like a top Dakar Rally hero. How how, how does that happen? Uh, thanks for having me on the show, Don. Um, yeah, it's been a, a long career. You know, I started off with motocross racing, and I started at a really young age, and then. Uh, Travelled the world racing motocross, and uh, then I went to off-road racing, and uh, I really enjoyed it. You know, okay. obviously. How do you go? Okay, Botswana. wait, wait. Sorry, I got. Well, you, you motocross is bounce, bounce, <laughs> jump in the air. Off-road, I mean, people think enduro off-road that they're not. Off-road cross country, that is flat out. You know. Yeah. If you hit something at 400 kilometers an hour off-road, you're gonna go tumbly, tumbly for a long time. They're yeah. very different. How do you get from, you know? Bouncy, bouncy. <laughs> Obviously, growing up in Botswana, we got so much area and so much space to ride in. So, uh, my dad used to do out rides with me all the time, and I really enjoyed it. And uh, you know, it's it's not always the same thing. Obviously, the bush changes all the time, and uh, the route is always different. So, it's exciting, you know. And going from motocross to off road, it was it was a lot of fun. Um, I really yeah. enjoyed it. And then, obviously, uh, I've been watching the Dakar Rally every year with my dad, and a big follower of Alfie Cox. And uh, nice. I always wanted to go there, but I needed to. Get Get some experience and uh, you know not to to go there my first year and crash my brains out because uh, obviously the speeds are, are crazy there yeah. but uh, I learned so much in South African off-road racing it was the best stepping stone I could have ever asked for. Oh fantastic now okay Dakar Rally before we get on to all this exciting stuff coming up uh, Dakar Rally I mean it's, it's 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 probably in motorcycling it's probably it could be the most iconic event <laughs> I mean, what is it like when you're, you're out there? I mean, people think about it, we watch it on TV. I mean, what is it like to actually be on the Dakar, you're on this bike? I mean, give us a sort of feeling of actually being there. It's a, it's a dream come true, you know. Um, you work your whole life to get to something like that and it, it is the pinnacle of motorsport, especially off-road racing. And uh, yeah, getting on the start line is, there's so many different things going through your head, you know. It's not only wanting to do well for yourself, but it's also wanting to not let people down that have supported you your entire life. And finally, you've got to the big stage and uh, you know, you've know got so many different pressures that are that are following you, but it's, it's, a, it's an exciting and, and probably one of the best feelings I've ever had in my life. And uh, I enjoy it, uh, getting onto to that, that kind of start line with, with all the guys that I look up to and that I watched on TV are, are still racing. And uh, yeah, it's fun, you know, it's obviously really, really tough. And mentally, it's probably one of the hardest things I've ever had to do. But um, I love it, and that's the main thing. <laughs> I can believe it. <laughs> now, <clears throat> okay, a bit of, shall we say, strange things happened this year. <laughs> Beginning of this year, you did ride Dakar. You were on a blue bike. <laughs> and then, okay, after the blue bike, now, the blue bike is quite a well-known, sort of quite famous sort of brand and off-road. I mean, Steph and Peter Hansel used to win on the blue brand, all of that kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, Ross Branch signs for Hero. <laughs> how, how did that come about? <clears throat> Yeah, you know, um, Yamaha was <clears throat> amazing to me. They uh, helped me a lot and, and gave me a good stepping stone into, into rally racing and uh, were great supporters of me. So, um, yeah, you know, unfortunately, the time came where we had to choose a different road and uh, I'd been speaking to Hero and I'd been watching Hero for a long time. They've made um, extremely good good waves in the, in the rally industry and uh, the bike is incredible and they've developed the bike extremely quickly, which is, which is good to see, you know, and uh, um, the bike's going 
going well the team is like a family effort and and i love that you know it's mm. it's like having a family back in and uh, the team is, is super fun and and a lot of fun to be around and the bike mm. is extremely extremely good and definitely one of the fastest bikes out there and uh, you know in rally racing you don't only need a fast machine but you also need a family around you to to mm. pick you up on the down days and help you through the bad days and and be there for you when you do have good results and Hero as a, as a whole, not only with the rally industry, but as, as the motorcycling industry in all, you know, they, they are that type of family environment and uh, they back you through the good and the bad. And I think as a rally racer, you have such good days and you have such bad days and I really needed that. So it was probably the best decision I could have made, you know, and, and they got such good support. And obviously mm. the biggest motorcycle manufacturer in the world is, it means a lot. So, you mm. know, they can't be wrong. and. Uh, I'm, I'm happy that I made the move and really happy with the brand and, and the team is amazing. So excited mm. for the next two years. I've got a two year contract mm. with them and oh, cool. really looking forward to it. Hey, I was gonna, and my next question was going, I think you possibly answered this already, was going to be what's it like, you know, you have, you've dealt with KTM and, and you've dealt with Yamaha, the, the factory teams. Uh, what is it like then moving to Hero? And I mean, as you say, family, that kind of makes sense because Hero as a brand, I mean, they sell millions and millions of motorcycles without Dakar effort. So this, <laughs> this is a sort of... Uh, this is a pursuit of passion for them. <clears throat> Definitely, you know, and it's uh, it is a family affair, like I've said before, and uh, it mm. was it was an incredible move. You know, obviously going from from team to team, it's it's difficult. You know, you got mm. a new bike, you got a new team manager, you got a new suspension technician, you got a new mechanic. All those things uh, are really difficult to get used to, especially when you go straight into into a race. So. For me, it was it was you know so smooth and so easy because it is a family affair and the mm. and the guys have a lot of fun there. You know the racing is still about the fun factor and obviously they want results and I think they have they have a winning combination. They have enough fun on the team to make it easy enough to get on the bike and just go and do your job. And they also have the bike that will give you the results and uh, you know the 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 technicians and the crew behind it are are so clued up and are world class. So. For me, it was it was an easy transition, and I haven't done many kilometers on the bike. I've only done 200 k's before Abu Dhabi Desert Challenge, and um, during yeah. that race, I've only done a thousand k's. So I feel at home on it already. Only. I feel at home with the team, and really excited. I like that. Only I've only done 1,000. <laughs> Jeez, like. Okay, so the motorcycle itself. So it's it's here. We're sitting in fired up motorcycles right now. This is a race. This is not just a mock up or something else. But this is a hero. Dakar rally bike. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, it's one of seven in existence. So this is more rare than the Honda Moto GP <laughs> bike. You know what I mean? It is. There's more Honda Moto GP bikes than there are these. So just give us a bit of a rundown. I mean, what what exactly is this? Yeah, you know, Hero has has its own rally bike, and uh, everybody thinks that it's come from from different manufacturers, you know, but it's yeah. not. They've uh, they're based in Germany, the the development side of things, the R and D department, and they've built their own bike. Everything is completely their own Hero motorcycle, which is which is incredible, you know. Uh, in the past, they've <clears throat> they've used a, a couple of different uh, parts from different manufacturers, but uh, the new machine that we sit in here in front of now is completely Hero built, and um, you know, developed in Germany, like I say, with with some really interesting technology and uh, this is only the beginning you know I'm lucky enough to fly over to Germany on Easter weekend to go and develop some more and uh, they've got a clay model exactly the same as this and we get to take a knife and we get to go and carve out our own kind of bike which is incredible it's a it's a so dream kind of mine to so all these so sculpting a motorcycle exactly. around you that's pretty cool yeah. I want that <laughs> <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it it's something yeah. that I've always wanted to do and uh, I'm excited you know um, like I say I'm really happy with the bike as it is so I really don't want to make any changes um, but yeah, that's, that's yeah. The, the racing career well, and well, development. My, ne my next question was going to be, I mean, you have ridden only 1,200 <laughs> kilometers. That's what I got to do road tests, there were only 1,000. Anyway, uh, but how, how, what is it like? I mean, you've ridden orange bikes, blue bikes, now you're on to this one. How does it sort of feel? How does it differ? What is the kind of characteristics? There's there's a lot of differences with uh, with Yamaha going from Yamaha to to Hero. Obviously, the big thing is is a frame. Um, Yamaha still has the motocross frame, which is which is more nimble, and uh, this is set up for rally racing, which is the high speed. So yeah. you can still be doing 160, 165 k's an hour and take your hand off the handlebar to grab your camelback, which is extremely important. You know that's what send, we do. Send messages. <laughs> <laughs> Holding on for dear life. But um, yeah, the bike is extremely stable at high speeds and Dakar obviously 80% 90% of the Dakar rally is, is high speed racing and uh, the bike is set up perfectly for that um, the suspension technicians obviously make the bike set up for taking the big impacts which is important for us because there's so many unknowns out in the desert and there's so many kilometers that you're going to go with taking a big risk 
So the suspension is set up to handle the big impacts and it's not as comfortable as you'd want it to be, but you need it to take up the yeah. big impact. So this bike as a whole, I'm extremely happy with it. We did minimal changes on the bike when I first got onto it, which is, which is a big thing for me. You know, yeah. a lot of guys would have taken a lot more time to, to set up the bike, but basically I could get on and race. And Abu Dhabi, I got on, uh, got on and raced it and we managed to win stage two, which is, which is huge for me as for my self-confidence and obviously for the team to show that I can come from a different manufacturer, jump on the bike and we still got okay. enough time and enough effort to, to win, the, win, a, win a stage. So. <laughs> Okay, Ross, so exciting year ahead. People who want to follow you, you know, they're watching this at home, they want to follow Ross Branch, whereabouts would they go? Yeah, definitely. The, the biggest thing that I'm on and my social media platform is, is Instagram. You know, it's easiest to, to keep in touch with everyone and that's Ross Branch BW. But um, yeah, I'd just like to say a huge thank you to everyone back home. You know, the support from Southern Africa has been incredible and everyone back home, uh, I do read all the messages every race and uh, it means a lot. You know, we have some good days and some bad days and on the bad days, the messages definitely keep me upbeat and keep me going. So a big thank you to everyone back home for, for all the support. Cool, and uh, for everyone watching at home, this is uh, genuinely Ross's race bike. It is gonna be on display at Fired Up. In fact, it's doing a little bit of a tour of all the different Fired Up dealerships. So. Keep a look out, uh, come and see. This thing is really incredible. And uh, you know, Ross, thank best of luck for the rest of the year and next year's Dakar. We're all rooting for you. Best of luck and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Don. Thank you so much for having me on the show and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. If an African rider could help put uh, an Indian manufacturer on the top step of the podium of the Dakar, that would be a brilliant combination for both regions. Right, after the break, we return with news of the Hero brand in South Africa.